Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about an interesting challenge I recently embarked on, no fap. For the past 100 days, I've abstained from pornography and masturbation, and in this video, I'll be sharing my experience and the valuable lessons I've learned along the way. So, let's get started. Before we dive into the details, let's quickly understand what NoFap is all about. In a nutshell, NoFap is a movement where individuals voluntarily refrain from consuming pornography and engaging in masturbation. People participate for various reasons, including personal growth, self-discipline, and the potential benefits it can have on their mental and physical well-being. Now that we have the context, let's talk about my expectations and preparation before starting the 100-day NoFap challenge. Like many others, I was looking to regain control over my habits and redirect my energy toward more productive activities. I knew it wouldn't be easy, so I mentally prepared myself for the challenges ahead. To stay motivated and accountable, I implemented a few strategies. I set specific goals for myself, such as improving focus and productivity as well as cultivating healthier habits. I also used a habit tracker to monitor my progress, found a supportive community online and engaged in alternative activities to distract myself from urges. The early days of the NoFap challenge were undoubtedly tough. Withdrawal symptoms, such as intense cravings, restlessness, and mood swings, were quite common. However, I soon realized the importance of finding healthy alternatives to fill the void left by pornography and masturbation. Now, let's take a look at some of the strategies and tools I used during my 100-day NoFap challenge. These helped me stay motivated and accountable throughout the journey. Remember, what works for me may not work for everyone, so feel free to adapt these to suit your own needs and preferences. Goal Setting I set specific goals for myself, both short-term and long-term. This helped me stay focused and gave me something to work towards. Habit Tracker I used a habit tracker app to monitor my progress. It allowed me to track the number of days I had successfully abstained from pornography and masturbation, which was a great source of motivation. Supportive Community Finding a supportive community online was crucial for me. I joined NoFap forums and groups where I could connect with others going through similar challenges. It provided a sense of camaraderie and encouragement. Healthy distractions. I engaged in alternative activities to distract myself from urges. This included things like exercising, reading, pursuing hobbies, and spending time with friends and family. Finding healthy outlets for my energy was essential. Mindfulness and meditation. Practicing mindfulness and meditation helped me stay present and aware of my thoughts and emotions. It allowed me to observe and manage cravings and urges more effectively. Physical activities. Engaging in physical activities, such as running, weightlifting, or yoga, not only helped me channel my energy but also boosted my mood and overall well-being. Personal development. I focused on personal development by reading books, listening to podcasts, and attending workshops or seminars. This kept me motivated and inspired throughout the challenge. Accountability Partner Having an accountability partner can make a significant difference. I shared my goals and progress with a trusted friend or family member who supported me and helped keep me on track. Self-care Taking care of myself mentally, physically, and emotionally was crucial during this challenge. I prioritized self-care activities such as getting enough sleep, practicing relaxation techniques, and nurturing my overall well-being. Reflection and Journaling Reflecting on my journey and journaling about my experiences allowed me to gain deeper insights into my thoughts, emotions, and progress. It provided a valuable outlet for self-expression and self-reflection. These were some of the strategies and tools that helped me during my NoFap challenge. Remember, what matters most is finding what works for you and staying committed to your goals. Feel free to try out these strategies or explore other techniques that resonate with you. Best of luck on your own journey. As time went on, I noticed a significant shift in my energy levels and overall well-being. The mid-challenge phase was a period of self-discovery, where I began to appreciate the benefits of channeling my energy into more productive pursuits. My focus improved, I felt more driven, and my overall mental clarity seemed to skyrocket. Of course, dealing with temptations and the occasional relapse was an inevitable part of the journey. It's essential to acknowledge that setbacks can happen, but the key is to learn from them and move forward. I implemented various strategies to overcome urges, such as practicing mindfulness, engaging in physical activities, and seeking support from friends in the NoFap community. Dealing with temptations during the NoFap challenge was undoubtedly one of the most challenging aspects. Urges and cravings can arise unexpectedly, and it's important to have strategies in place to overcome them. Here are some techniques that help me navigate through temptations. Mindfulness and awareness. Practicing mindfulness played a significant role in managing temptations. By becoming aware of my thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations, I could observe the urges without judgment. This allowed me to detach from them and choose not to act on them. Distraction and alternative activities. 
When temptation struck, I immediately redirected my focus to alternative activities. Engaging in physical exercises like jogging, hitting the gym, or doing yoga helped channel my energy in a positive direction. Pursuing hobbies, reading, or engaging in creative outlets provided a healthy distraction and shifted my attention away from the urges. Support system. Having a support system in place was invaluable. I reached out to friends, family, or the NoFap community for support during difficult moments. Sharing my struggles and receiving encouragement from others who understood the journey helped me stay motivated and reminded me that I was not alone. Implementation intentions. I found it helpful to plan in advance how I would respond to potentially triggering situations. By creating implementation intentions, such as deciding to engage in a specific activity or seeking support when faced with temptation, I had a clear plan of action and was less likely to give in to urges. Urges is temporary. Reminding myself that urges are temporary and will pass helped me stay resilient. I acknowledged that the discomfort I felt in the moment was temporary and that resisting the temptation would lead to greater long-term satisfaction and personal growth. Identifying triggers. Understanding the triggers that led to temptations was crucial in preventing relapses. I kept a journal to track patterns and identify situations, emotions, or habits that often preceded the urges. By recognizing these triggers, I could proactively avoid or address them, reducing the likelihood of succumbing to temptation. Self-reflection and learning from relapses. It's essential to acknowledge that relapses can happen on the NoFap journey. Instead of dwelling on guilt or disappointment, I used relapses as learning opportunities. I reflected on the triggers, circumstances, or thought patterns that led to the relapse and adjusted my strategies accordingly. Remember, dealing with temptations is a personal journey, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's crucial to find strategies that resonate with you and build a toolbox of techniques that suit your needs. Be patient with yourself, celebrate small victories, and don't be too hard on yourself if you experience setbacks. The key is to keep moving forward and staying committed to your goals. You can do it. As I approached the final stretch of the 100-day challenge, a sense of accomplishment began to take hold. The self-discipline and commitment required to reach this point were truly empowering. I experienced positive changes in my attitude, confidence, and self-perception. It's amazing what we can achieve when we redirect our energy towards personal growth. Looking back on the 100-day NoFap challenge, I've learned valuable lessons that extend far beyond abstaining from pornography and masturbation. This experience has taught me the importance of self-discipline, setting meaningful goals, and finding healthier outlets for my energy. It's important to note that everyone's journey is unique, and the results may vary. In conclusion, NoFap can be a transformative experience for those who choose to embark on the challenge. It's worth exploring if you're interested, but remember, it's a personal choice and moderation is key. I encourage you to share your own experiences or ask any questions you might have in the comments below. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I'll see you in the next video.